What's up, Divine Feminine? Welcome to the Karmic Circus. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Karmic Ass Circus where we, <laughs> Karmic Ass Circus, to the Karmic Circus where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. So, Divine Feminine, you see, I have your deck out here. Look at this beautiful rose quartz. Isn't that pretty? It has the rainbow. The rainbow, uh, it changes like colors. <coughs> if you're interested in purchasing a spiritual kit from me, I have the ones that you will get the big crystals like these. Um, you'll get a rose quartz. You'll get a, I mean, an amethyst, a rose quartz. Um, this is the angel stone. Basically, you'll get bigger stones. I, I give packages away with the stones like these. And I also... Some packages for your, your healing and protection will come with stones this size. Okay, the big stones like this for you to put around in your house. Um, these kind. Now for, for those of you who want small stones, they'll be like these. The kind you can carry in your pocket, you can put in your purse. Um, if you're interested in a spiritual healing kit I have little tiny stones I have big stones look at this one right here this is a rainbow titanium you can't see but it's like a blue it's for your third eye chakra okay for your throat throat chakra and your third eye okay but anyway um I'm just saying, if you would like to purchase some spiritual items from me, I do have, um, I have some, if you want some sort of healing protection, uh, email me if you feel like you're under spiritual attack, you can email me, I'm just going to lay a few out right in front of me for this reading. Feminine. So, somebody out there, Divine Feminine, you like crack to this person. Okay? This person has been with different people, going to different people, trying to get your same energy, but they can't get it. They can't get the same energy. No, they can't. No, they can't. They can't. Okay, they can't get the same energy that you gave them. And you know, like what they say with crack, once you start on that shit, you, um, they say that very first hit. I ain't never did the shit just because of what I heard about it. You hit it one time and then that's how they go broke because they start, um, trying to find that very same first high that very first high you get from crack is is the ultimate high and it's like some mind manipulation you ain't gonna never get that same high no more so you will just keep on searching and searching spending more money and more money to try to find the best crack you can to get that same high and you basically just lose it your teeth your family your life rocks Instead of fucking with them rocks, get some of these kind of rocks. Okay? Get you some of those kind of rocks. So, okay, Holy Spirit, this person that um, looks at Divine Feminine like his crack pipe, can't find nobody else. He ain't gonna never find nobody like Divine Feminine. Why are they not gonna find nobody like Divine Feminine? When it comes to love, show me the energy of the clown who fooled around and let divine feminine down. Okay? Show me the energy of the clown 
that love divine feminine looking for something better and can't find nothing better. Show me the energy. When I first started my other channel, I used to give away, um, give away these little, what are they called, the uh, treasure chests, filled with the crystals, and I call them magic crystals because they are magic. Okay, so Holy Spirit, show me the energy surrounding how this person feels about divine feminine. Because she like crack to him. He can't find nobody better. He can't find nobody like Divine Feminine. Show me what, what, what it is in Divine Feminine that this person can't find in others. They can't get to know anybody like they get to know you. They've been dealing with deceptive deception. He can't find no chemistry with these people. They've been being deceptive to him. He can't trust his friends around this person. He's attracted to him, but he's still not over you. And he's he's he you're like a past life relationship to him that he's still attracted to. There's no chemistry with them and this other person, these other people. He's trying to stay optimistic about his love life. He also don't like this separation between you two. And he haven't released you. <laughs> he haven't released you, Divine Feminine. And the, the heart of the energy is attraction. This person, um, maybe their friends introduced you to. And so if they, if they friends, if his friend introduced him to you, his friend introduced him to a great girl, right? So he don't want them to, to introduce him to nobody else. If anything, he want them to bring you two back together. That's what I feel. Okay. And this person, the people, he knows that you're his soulmate. The people that he's trying to chase to fulfill him like you, they can't fulfill him. He don't hit, feel no chemistry with these people. You, he feel you're his soulmate. Now, even though he's still going out chasing these others, he's still attracting you. He's smelling the flowers, but he ain't, it's, it's, they all got, they smell like roses. And roses smell like doo-doo. And see, this person knows, Divine Feminine, that, that you are a spiritual gift to him. So, what is it spiritually that this person sees? Now, most the majority of the time, most likely divine feminine, if you are a divine feminine, your person knows that they need you, okay? They may not never say it to you, but they know, okay? Because you're, you're such a sweetheart to them. You, are, um, you carry a divine energy. You don't carry a karmic energy. So it's something in you that this person sees where they can't find in nobody else. You like crack, okay? No matter how they how they search, they can't see no signs. These people don't know 
anything about awakening. They don't know anything about spirituality. Well, you know Divine Feminine. <clears throat> By this person being around you, they've learned certain things. But they've also learned that uh, they, they, they can't see the signs of them being with these people. They don't see um, the good things with these people. They, they can't see it where they saw it with you. What else, Spirit? And that you know how to use your intuition. See, these people don't. Now, Divine Feminine, um, some of you are clairvoyant. You can see shit that others can't see. You know, like the shit that the animals can see and sense and all of that. You like that, Divine Feminine. It's ain't for everybody, but it's for somebody. And, and if you're divine feminine, you you are. You do know how to, um, you may not even know what your intuition is. You may just be learning about intuition. But if you're on this channel and it's saying divine feminine, you're representing yourself as a member of the divine family. So that means that you should know how to use your intuition. And if you don't know how to use your intuition, you need to get yourself an uh, amethyst. Okay, they come in many looks, shapes, forms. These are all amethysts, okay? This is an amethyst. This is an amethyst. So you can get the amethyst crystals, the towers, different sizes. These are all amethysts, okay? Amethyst are to me the best they're my favorite okay i want to get me a giant amethyst but these are used to open your intuition okay and you see how the purple is here down at the bottom that's what the amethyst and see the amethyst is purple see the amethyst is purple purple baby purple 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 Purple. And see this this stone right here, it done took some hits. You see that? Now, when you purchase you a stone, you make sure you purchase it and it's uh, free of nicks and scratches. This crystal has taken some hits for me. You see? See how it's all beat up? They're supposed to be this is why you pay attention when you buy them. Okay, look at this. Wait, I'll just put that. Beautiful. This is a, a yellow adventure. Brings happiness and joy, fun into your life. Okay, you see this is beautiful. No scars. No cracks. Nothing. Now look at this one. See how it's all cracked up? See how it's all beat up? This is how you know that somebody has threw a spiritual attack with you, okay, at you. Okay. Somebody was trying to throw magic at my intuition, which is which is normal, natural because they don't like that us readers tell you, you know, give you the heads up on things. But see, these are smooth. This got one little crack. Okay. So this is how you can can tell when um <clears throat> someone has put a spiritual attack towards you. So spirit is saying for you to use your intuition. So tell me, um, what else does this person see in Divine Feminine that they can't find in nobody else? What is it in Divine Feminine that this person can't find in nobody else? What is it in Divine Feminine that this person can't see in nobody else? 
that you're patient, that you create your own reality, and that you show gratitude. Mm -hmm. You create your own, own, own reality. You say what you want and you don't wait. You go for it. Okay? And you show a lot of gratitude to God the Most High. And Divine Feminine or Masculine, whichever one y'all is in here, have some patience. Okay? No, you already have the patience. My bad, my bad. Don't don't bite my head off. You have patience. You show gratitude. You're creating your own reality. But see this this um who your masculine is trying to find in everybody else, they can't find it. Everybody they've been dealing with is impatient. These the people they deal with is is not grateful for what they have. These people sit around and, and they wait for somebody else to create their reality. They, they're a bunch of people who's always uh, shopping to make themselves look bigger instead of trying to do something on their own. They're not that type of energy. Uh, these are the people who's, <laughs> like I call my sons, when the Black Fridays come, they hurry up and get there and get some shit. Okay? You create your own shit. You may go to Black Friday, but you're going to get some shit where you can create your own abundance. You gonna do some where where everybody is in the <laughs> where everybody in the in the um in the electronics aisle, divine feminine. You over there in the arts and craft <laughs> for Black Friday. <laughs> That's me. That's me. Mm -hmm. And I ain't even gonna sit here in front when they had that that when they had that Black Friday at the Dollar Tree. Shit, I wasn't in there. That night, but that day at the Dollar Tree, she had, I went up in there and got me a lot of a lot of nice um, crafting supplies that that are um, you'll find in them higher stores, and now they 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 bringing them down to the Dollar Tree because they're overstocked. And you guys better pay attention to all of this stuff. You're starting to see name brands in the dollar stores. Some of it ain't a dollar, but you may get something good for four dollars. Whereas in the in the grocery store, eight dollars. You know, I've been grocery shopping up in that motherfucker too, and the food is fresh and it's good. And this person, the, the people they dealing with, all they getting with is a bunch of people who's lying and cheating on them, because they did that to you. They ain't, they ain't getting no chemistry with these people because they didn't show no chemistry towards you. And it's like they, even though they, they, they uh, is attracted to you, they wanted to, they wanted something else. It's like, it's like, it's, 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 it's you're like the crack, I guess. So when they, when they smoke the crack, do they, they they gotta find they gotta find something better than that. It's some out there better than this. This this can be the best. I know it's the good. I know it's some good shit, but this could not be the best. We could have ended a cycle with this person. This is why they all looking like a crackhead for you, divine feminine. <laughs> They like a crackhead behind you, and they can't, they can't, they can't find another you. No, they can't, baby. They can't, and you end the cycle with them. Mm -hmm. And they end in cycles with these people. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Tell me more. What is this masculine? Out there looking for a Holy Spirit that they he can't find in them. Okay. <laughs> you got you got extra abilities, baby. You superwoman. 
He can't find that in another woman. He can't find them. They can't focus. They're not focused. They're not awakened. He can't find that in nobody like you, baby. You focused. You know how to use your third eye. You, you know spirituality. You know how to heal. You helped him. These people can't help him in no short, no, no form, shape, or fashion. Mm-hmm. So I got this, I got to go to this little bitty deck. I'm working with the little deck today, the little decks. So, okay, tell me, tell me about these energies that the masculine is trying to basically uh, find a replica of divine feminine, but he can't. Show me what he's looking for and what he's coming in contact with. He's looking for, but he ain't getting. Show me what it is he's looking for, but he ain't getting. He's looking for somebody who's going somewhere in life. But all he got was somebody that anchored him down. <laughs> oh, shit. For some of you, you could have been with this person three months, three years. Somebody's birthday could be March 5th. The people that he deal with, they're unhealed. Some of you, this is a water sign you're dealing with. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Some of the, the energies that this masculine is dealing with is clouding his judgment. And he crying over you. Standing at the beach looking like a duck. Okay. And somebody is 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 he's kind of treading over treaded treading over bad waters, whatever the word is. Treading over rough waters, dealing with these people. He got a fat one. <laughs> ooh spirit ooh masculine <laughs> I did ask for the description of these these uh I asked for the description of some of the energies that the masculine what they basically what they look like he's dealing with a whale one of them is big okay she can be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And with this sand and this water out here on this other picture, they can, he could be dealing with either earth sign. He could be dealing with the water sign. The, uh, earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. This, this earth sign could be the one who's keeping this masculine anchor down. Have him standing at a beach, at the beach somewhere off by itself looking stuck on stupid. Kicking rocks and shit. This, this energy could have told the masculine, they telling them to kick rocks. You didn't do that to him, Divine Feminine. They got him feeling anchored down. You didn't do that to him, Divine Feminine. They don't clean up their house. They don't, they don't, they don't clean up their natural house or their spiritual house or their body. This person is nasty. They, these people that they're dealing with, they're not divine. Yeah, that's my little trees, divine feminine. I done burnt the hole in my little tube and everything. <laughs> <coughs> 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 so 
of her spirit. Show me more of the energies that this the divine masculine is is looking is can't find in the feminine. And see, you don't you you could be vacationing, taking a trip, divine ma divine feminine. You're a neat and clean person. You're very organized. Organized. You could be a water sign or you could be an earth sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody's birthday is in March. Okay, tell me more what this masculine found out there treading these rough waters, trying to find another divine. <laughs> somebody childish and even though they say good luck somebody found good luck but I heard yuck I saw yuck so somebody this masculine he he got one of these one, <laughs> one of these karmics got money but she ugly <laughs> He trying to find in her what he can't find in you, Divine Feminine. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. All he's getting, all he's uh, coming in contact with is childish, immature energy. Because this masculine energy, now this is not for every masculine, so masculine, don't be all on my in my comments talking shit to me. If, this, if the shoe fits, wear it. Okay? Don't be mad if, if the shoe fits where? If it's the truth, accept it as the truth and heal yourself and fix yourself. Don't come all in the comments talking shit to me, please, because all I'm going to do is block you. And then you ain't going to be able to hear these resonating ass messages. Okay. This is what the masculine is getting, trying to, trying to, in, 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 um, not impersonate you, I guess, um, clone you. This is all he run into. Rats. <laughs> oh, so the white feminine put some cheese out for the minds, baby. Mm -hmm. That's what the divine, divine masculine, somebody's birthday is February 3rd. Or February 3rd could be somebody significant to somebody. <laughs> somebody's birthday is March 3rd. <laughs> oh, okay. A spirit. Tell me a little more. <laughs> this masculine, masculine, come on now. You... You're not gonna you're not gonna find no one like the feminine baby. You're not. Feminines, feminines, show me the feminine energy. Show me the feminine energy. <laughs> Swans represent beauty and grace. A mother energy. She got a motherfucking trophy. She the trophy. A trophy piece. Look at the little baby inside of the trophy cup. This is divine feminine. But masculine this is what you are. <laughs> they hang in bars and shit or in the clubs or in pool halls and shit. Look at them. They gamble. They look like they sit at the table and gamble. Or this could be three witches doing some spell work. They rats. <laughs> Damn. Divine masculine. <laughs> Y'all don't forget um, energetically donate to my channel by hitting that thumbs up button for me. Now don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Okay. Tell me more Holy Spirit.
You're not gossiping, divine feminine. You all into your spirituality and shit. These brats over here, they gossip. He has no spiritual connection with them at all. At all. And this masculine right here. <laughs> holding holding on to his uh uh I forget uh what's the name of these things? It's not a squirrel. Um that's not a fox, a meerkat or something. He got some funny little weird animal. So some some of you masculines may uh, have some sort of little strange exotic pet or something that you you own. If you have an exotic pet, please put it in the comments. And feminine, if it's your masculine and he's not in there, please put it in the comments. What is this? What is this right here? If you have one, put it in the comments. And tell me what the name of it is. Okay. Some sort of little uh, a meerkat. That's not a squirrel, is it? Is it a squirrel? I would love to have a squirrel. They are so fucking cute. But I watched the videos on YouTube of, of squirrels will tear your carpet up and, and your, uh, your curtains and shit. And I got cats and they already do that shit. So my curtains gone. Cats tore it up. <laughs> Okay, so Spirit, what is the what is the advice for Divine Feminine and, and my Divine Family? What is the advice? This is Ten of Swords energy. Um, basically, Divine Feminine. They thought you was going to be Ten of Swords, but you're not, baby. Okay? You're not Ten of Swords. No, you're not. If anything, you hauling ass, you packing up, getting the fuck away from them. Okay? And if you're not, that's what you need to do. Okay? Or this is your masculine. <laughs> he defeated see when he left you he thought he was going to find something better he thought you was going to be defeated this is a motherfucking ten of swords he thought that you was going to be defeated but you're not if anything you hauling ass you leaving you packing up all your hay and getting the fuck up on up out of there Yes, you are. You leaving with your spiritual knowledge and all. Mm -hmm. You don't trust this person. Because you know you're worth waiting for. Hmm. You didn't end the cycle with them. Or they didn't end the cycle with you. But you ended the cycle with them. You ended the cycle of you waiting on them to go test the waters with others. So Spirit is saying you need to end the cycle if you haven't. They ain't going to find nobody. <laughs> they ain't going to find nobody like you. That's a bridge they ain't going to be able to cross. Mm -hmm. They've been, they're getting bit by snakes. And you out here happy. You blowing a lot of smoke. This person blow a lot of smoke and talk a lot of shit. That's the energy they going to. Why you happy? You got the sun right here. And they dealing with some energies that, that talks loud. And ain't saying shit. This is somebody loyal to you. Now they want to spend time with you, Divine Feminine. Because they can't get their fix. <laughs> and they messaging you. And you ain't you ain't responding. Because you feel like they're going to try to, you know, create some obstacles in your way. Mm -hmm. So they spy on you. <laughs> Look at these owls' face. Look how they looking. They mad. <laughs> they 
<laughs> oh, and that could mean wisdom too. It could also mean it's, it's, it could be uh, somebody, a private investigator watching you. Because they don't want it to be over with you. They don't want this shit to come to an end. They don't want you to have no new beginnings, but they was hiding secrets. Uh-huh. Yeah. They broke your heart to a, to a uh, wands in reverse, and now they're having the tower moment. And this tree is family growth, strength. You standing up tall and you growing. Here's, a, here's the cemetery, death, new beginnings, transformation. You ain't having sex with this person no more. Mm-hmm. This person feel like they just going to shrivel up and die without you. This is, look, don't you look like he on crack? He on crack, divine feminine. <laughs> and he looking for you. You is crack. This is how he's, he's he, he ain't got your energy no more. <laughs> he's withering away. <laughs> divine feminine. Look at him. I told you, you that crack to him, baby. Now he's about to come to apologize to you. <laughs> he's stalking you. Mm-hmm. He's stalking. Some of the masculines got a little white cat. And they mad. Oh, masculine. They even, this. sometimes this masculine gets so mad when he yell, his cat be running. <laughs> Because the white people they're not talking to him. <laughs> oh shit, he crying and he could be dealing with the Pisces energy. Here's a snake energy out here. Somebody saying she pregnant by him, but she not. She want his money. And <laughs> she ain't healed either. Yep. Why are you relocating? You organize, you know. He dealing with some unorganized motherfuckers. He going through breakups because he got more than one. He done got busted with the sneaky fox in the back. Look, sneaky fox, he done got caught. <laughs> this is you up here, Divine Feminine. <laughs> mm -hmm. This you, Divine Feminine. Grace and beauty. A new nest. You could have just moved or got a new house, new apartment. You the mother of the year, baby. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like this reading to my feminine. Your masculine, you like crack to his to, uh to, to this person. And he can't get the same high energy that you give him, so he's smoking himself out. <laughs> I'm not saying your masculine is on crack. I'm talking about you like crack. So you look when you look at <laughs> when you look at a crackhead, and I know everybody knows what a crackhead looks like. When you look at the next crackhead you look like, <laughs> divine feminine, <laughs> the next crackhead that you look at. Think about this is how your masculine is energy is spiritually. Looking just like that crackhead. Because he can't get your energy, he can't find it. <laughs> He can't find it in nobody else. So he running around, you know, scraping change and shit, paying prostitutes and shit, just like a crackhead. He paying the prostitutes because he wants somebody to be able to, to intimately please him like you. He can't find that. <laughs> Divine Feminine, you got this man like a he crack addicted to you. Goddamn. And make sure you, you don't forget to put the thumbs up for this read. All right. Peace out.